evolutionists claim that the Earth is millions and billions of years old, that the sedimentary rock layers we see, which are simply layers of dried out mud, uh, formed over millions and millions of years of time, that each layer was deposited one at a time, slowly and gradually. Now, if that is true, then each layer would have been exposed before the next layer was formed on top. Now, creationists, we say that the Earth is 6,000 years old and that there was a worldwide flood of Noah about 4,500 years ago in which all the layers were deposited at the same time. So let's take a look. Which one is right? In this photograph taken in Australia, you see sedimentary rock layers here, and they're going across and so on, and so we see these layers. But do you see this object right here? This is actually my favorite kind of fossil. Because what you see there is called a polystrate fossil. Now, what is a polystrate fossil? I'm showing you the outline so that you can see it a little bit better. This is actually a colified log. Notice it has no top, no bottom. It's just a colified log, but it is sticking through many layers. It's a polystrate fossil. Poly meaning many, strat, strata, strata meaning layers. And, well, could this have possibly grown here while these layers formed around it slowly and gradually? Well, no. Number one, it has no top, no bottom. This is a log that was transported here in water, muddy water. And that muddy water laid down layers, and the log was included. Now, you can clearly see that this is just dried out mud, but this is a tree trunk without a top or bottom that has turned into coal. Now, evolutionists would tell you that coal forms slowly and gradually. Well, first of all, we can see there's uh, something wrong with that. But uh, they want to tell you that coal formed in nature during the Carboniferous period, supposedly 300 to 360 million, suppose, years ago that vast forests were then buried over a long period of time and turned into coal slowly and gradually. But it's simply not true. Take a look. Here we see several coal seams, but I want you to concentrate right here. Do you notice that at that very point, there's one coal seam that branches into two? Now, forked branching coal seams proved that this is material that was all deposited at the same time rapidly. And recent research has shown this. Now, this is a piece of anthracite coal, looks totally natural. And anthracite coal is the hardest, densest, blackest coal there is. And yet, this piece of anthracite coal, which looks totally natural, was made in a laboratory in only a few hours back in 1972. Since the eruption of Mount St. Helens in 1980, we've actually seen coalification and fossilization occurring, which proves it doesn't take millions of years to get coal or fossils. And finally, uh, Argonne National Laboratories. Now, this is uh, one of the greatest research laboratories in the world located near Chicago, Illinois. They have proven that in nature, if you bury wood deep enough to have no oxygen, which doesn't take really much, frankly, and you have kaolin volcanic type clays, uh, that's a catalyst, a temperature of 300 degrees Fahrenheit or more, you will get coal in nature in only nine months. This is an experiment done back in 1984. So we now know that in nature, coal forms in only nine months. And if it's hotter, you just get it faster. And so we really see that the Earth is not millions and billions of years old, as evolutionists claim, that it is, in fact, only 6,000 years old.